Baruchim Haboim. Welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezras Hashem together on Daf Ayin Zayin Amr Aleph. Three lines from the bottom. Our Mishnah opens up the parak of various Shi'urim for liquids that a person will be Chayiv Chatas for being Moitzi Merishus the Rishus on Shabbos. The first item was in regards to Mezigas Yayin. How much Yayin can you take out? Kedei Mezigas Hakois. The second item, which we'll discuss now, Be'ezer Hashem, is cholov, milk. The Mishnah says, Kedei gemia, which is a swallowing of the milk, which is identified as a cheekful. Melo lugmov. Says the Gemara, Iboilu, asking the following question in regards to the spelling of the words. Kedei gemia or Kedei gemia? Is it spelled with an aleph or with an ayin? This is what Eliezer Evet Avram asked Rivka Imeno. Can you give me a sip of the a little bit of water from your cod, from your jug? Therefore, we see it spelled with an aleph. Iboilahu, it was asked further. Garinin or Garinin. Is it with an aleph or with an ayin? We saw at the end of the previous parak. Klal Godol. The parak said that in the Mishnah it said that we can go ahead and measure the amount of the food of Adam, which we don't differentiate between Adam and Adam and type of food it is. However, that which is not a food is not mitztaref together with that food. And therefore, including those things were the klipois and the garinim. Garinim they're asking, is it with an ayin or with an aleph? Omar Rav Barulo, Vinigro Me Erkecho. Here it says that the Kohen will then deduct, he'll detract from the erich, from the value. So here we have an interesting proof because it says Vinigro, talking about the value, the erich, erichin will be detracted. So what does that have to do with garin or garinin? The word nigra means detract. But here we see that when a garin, which is taken out, let's say, of a te'ena, or let's say a beit tamar. You take the, 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 the pit of the tamar, of the date, so it is megarea, it's then deducting the size of the fruit. So therefore, from here we see that the, indeed, this garin within ayin, that's the connection to the word garin and venigra. Iboi who asked the Gemara further, Umamois or umamois with an aleph or with an ayin. Here refers to then that which is diminished, if it's dimmed rather. The light, the coals, are they dimmed with an aleph or with an ayin? Omar of Yitzchuk bar avdimi arozim loy amamuhu began elokim. The arozim, the cedars, will not dim. Vigan elokim, referring to dimming as with an ayin. Is it with an aleph or with an ayin? The Mishnah Lekamon discusses when a person passes away, it's also on Shabbos to close his eyes because that's being mazes and aver, which is muksa, it's also to do on Shabbos. Is that spelled with an aleph or with an ayin? Answers the Gemara Rabbi Chia Bar Abba Omar Rabbi Yechanon. Enov Mira'ois Bara. This is coming to describe the tzaddik who diverts his eyes, he closes his eyes from seeing evil. Here, the word v'oitzem, ayin tzaddik mem, the letters are slightly transposed from the word ma'ametz, with his ayin mem tzaddik. But we see that in the Torah, we see keves and kesev. And we also see simla and silma. So the transposed letters are not significant, it means the same thing, and therefore it's a raya to say that it's spelled with an ayin. Tonu Rabbonon, the Gemara now brings a b'raiso, hamoitzi chalav shel behemo, one who transfers the chalav of a behem from one reshus and takes out to another reshus. The shear is kedei gemio, the shear is to swallow it, a cheekful. That's, we're talking about the chalav of a kosher animal, like a cow. Chalav shel isha, the milk of a woman who is feeding her child, breast milk. Veloyven shel beit, and the white of an egg. What is the shear to then take that out on Shabbos? Michayev chatos. Kedei litain b'mishifa. That's 
enough that it'll be meshifa shel kilor. When a person takes the white of the egg and the mother's milk and he smears it with the kilor, which will be a balm that's placed on the eyes of a person who's ailing, that's the shear that it's also to go out with, with this type of milk, the milk of a woman who's nursing and the white of an egg. Kilor, what's this measurement of a kilor that one cannot go out with this, this balm? When it's mixed with water, ask the Gemara boy Rav Ashi kedei shifa or kedei achiz of shifa. This balm that's mixed with water is it after it's just put on the eye? That's the measurement that a person then cannot go out with, or is it when it's still also after putting on the eye remains on the fingers? Take with the Gemara reads it as a as a open question, doesn't answer as a standing question. Dvash kedei liten alha kosis. We said in the Mishnah that the shear of dvash of honey is putting on a kotish, a type of wound, either described as a wound that that is on found on a horse or a camel because of the load that it carries, it develops some sort of make, or on the foot or the back of a hand of a person. The Gemara now says, Tana bringing a brisa kedei liten al pi kotis. The measurement, the shear over here is when you put dvash on the mouth of the kotis. The Gemara now is mevara. What exactly is referring to? Boy, Rav Ashi, al kotis apuma de kula kotis or dilma amur shokama de kotis is referring to the entire face of the wound. That's the amount, that's the shear, or is it only talking about the top part of the, the tip, let's say, of the wound? La puke hardarna deloy. If it's talking about only the top, then the surrounding part is not included. Gemara leaves it as a teku, as a standing question. Omar Rav Yehud Omar Rav. Rav Yehud said name of Rav, Kol mashe borakash borchu ba'olam ole bar davar. Echad levatolo, whatever Akash Baruch Hu made in his world, he didn't make anything superfluous. And therefore, Boro Shaklul Lekotis, he created a snail for the purpose of putting on a Kotis, the wound that we described before, which is going to heal such a wound. Boro Zavuv Litsira, if a person is bitten, is stung by a hornet, then a crushed up Zavuv fly, when it's put onto the sting of a hornet, is a healing element. Yatush lenachash, a mosquito which is crushed up for a nachash. I guess the bite of a nachash which is placed on that place of the bite. Venachash lechafofis, and a nachash for the boils, which the Gemara will explain shortly. Vesamomis laakrov, and the samomis would be for a spider for the akrov. Here it's described that the samomis, the spider, will then also heal that which is crushed up and put onto the sting of an akrov. Ask the Gemara, Hechi Ovile, how does the nachash for the chafofis work? You bring one snake that is black and one snake that is white. And you cook it very, very well. And then you put it on the boils. You, you rub it on the boils. Bryce says, There are five different types of fear that are Amos Chalash Al Gibor. Is the fear of a weak one on a strong one? What are the following five? List the brisa: Amas Mavgia al Ari. Mavgia is a certain creature, a small creature, that can scream and shout very, very, very loud, extremely loud, that it scares the Ari, the lion, and the lion thinks a big animal is going to come and attack them, and it flees. Amas Yatush al Apil, a mosquito. When it goes into the ear of a peel of an elephant, it's impossible for him to get it out, and therefore he has the fear when a yatush buzzes around its head. 
Eimas samomis al ha'akrav. This is this fear that a spider has on a scorpion. It goes into the scorpion's ear and it antagonizes a scorpion to the scorpion cannot then get rid of it. Similar to what we just said in the peel. Eimas sanonis al hanesher. A certain bird is called sanonis. That brings a fear on the nesher, which it flies through in a certain way on the wing of the nesher that doesn't enable the nesher to open up its wings. Ema kilbis al levioson, the small aquatic creature, is a great fear for the levioson, the tremendously big levioson. And therefore, these are small items, small creatures rather, that Akash Baruch Hu made that can bring fear on big, strong animals and creatures themselves. Om Rav Yudam Arav, Micro, what's the verse that supports this? Hamavlig shoid al oz. HaKash Baruch Hu, he brings the strength of the weak one to overcome that which is strong. <clears throat> Says the Gemara Vaita, Rabbi Zer Ashkoch le Rabbi Yehuda da Havako apischa de Bechamua. Rabbi Zer found Rabbi Yehuda on the doorway of his father-in-law, he was standing there, and he saw that Rabbi Yehuda was in a good mood, an extremely good mood. And if he would ask him anything in the world, any question, he would, <coughs> excuse me, he would answer him. Rabbi Zerah took advantage of the opportunity and asked Rabbi Yehuda the following question. My time is a masgan amar. Why is it that the black goats walk in front of the white sheep? In other words, what he's asking is why is it that Ace of the Rasha goes in front of Yaakov Avinu? He was born first, which seems to be that he has Hashivus. Answers Rav Yehuda Kibriyosa Shel Oilam. That's the way Akrish Baruch was metachnin the Bria. At first there's darkness, there's rishus, and then there is light, and therefore our job is to then bring out the light amongst the darkness. Why is it that these, referring to the sheep, are covered up? That means that the tail covers up its bottom, whereas when it comes to the goats, it doesn't have a tail that covers up the bottom. Answers the Gemara, Hani the Machasin on Minayhu Mechasin. Rabbi Yehud explains because the sheep, since they have wool which comes to cover us up, therefore they have a tail that covers it up. Maybe it means to say the schus that is able to then provide clothing and cover up for human beings, it's zoiche to then cover up its bottom. My time magamlo zutar genuvte. Why is it that the gamal, the camel, has a small tail? Answer of Yehuda Mishum, the ochel kisi, because it eats thorns and therefore it would get caught on a thorn bush if it had a long tail. My time atura arika genuvte. Why is it that the shore has a long tail? Answers of Yehuda Mishum, the dyer be agme uboy la ar karkushe baki. Because it lives in swamp lands and therefore it needs to then f- cause to chase away the mosquitoes. And therefore the wagging tail chases away the mosquitoes from bothering it. My taimo karno the kamsa rechivo. Why is it that the antennas of the locust or some learn the ant is soft? Mishum de daira bechilfe. Because they live in the chilfe amongst the willow trees. The Ikashia Nadia Mis Avro. And therefore, if their antennas were strong, were, 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 were kashi, were, were hard, then they would fall off and they would become blinded. The Omashmu Haiman de Boy Lisamia Le Kamsa. If a person wants to blind a locust, or we said a ant, the way to do that is Le Shilfinu Le Karne by taking off. It's antennas. That's where it sees from. So therefore, if it didn't have hard antennas, then it would then come off, causing it to become blinded. Therefore, Gosh Baruch Hu made them with soft antennas. 
my time mahatimro de time goluso medali leelo why is it that the the time goluso has its eyelid that goes from bottom to covering the one the top the top instead of the other animals that goes from top and covers the bottom here the bottom goes up and covers the top answers of yehuda the diary adape the kayo kitch kutro misavro because it usually dwells it usually sits on a t- high part of a board where there's there's um uh, types of smoke that usually then goes up and it would affect it causing it to become blinded if it didn't have those type of eyelids now rev zera asks many questions about verse the various words to which Rabbi Yehuda explains that it's based on the contraction of the word itself, as follows. Dosha in Aramaic means door. Derech sham. It's a contraction of the words. Derech sham. There is the way. Dargo is a contraction of derech gag. A ladder, a step. A ladder goes up. The derech of the gag. Maskoliso. Here is a contraction of Mosai tichle do. Here it's referring to a certain dip that we use to dip their food in. And therefore, it's a contraction of the word Mosai when tichle do. When would this be finished? Because you don't use so much when you dip your food into it. And therefore, it has the name of Maskoliso. Beiso, a home. Bo ve'esiv. Come and sit down. Bo, in it. Bikso, a small house. Is a contraction of be akto, a house that is narrow. Kufto is a contraction of kuf vativ, referring to telling a person turn this piece of wood over and sit. Livne, here it's talking about a brick. Livne bene, it's referring to. Many generations of children, after a brick is put into the wall, it stays for generations. Hutsa, thorns, chatzitsa, makes a, per, a, a, a temporary type of chatzitsa, when you make a wall out of thorns. Chatzbo, a barrel, shechoit sev mayim min hanar, when you, so to speak, mine water from the river. <clears throat> Kuzo, Kaze, kuza is a small ceramic judge, like this, kaze, something small. Shutiso, referring to the hadas. Shituso, the Gemara in Ksuvis and Davyud Zayin speaks about kalonev vechasuda, where it explains over there that chachamim would dance with myrtles, they would throw up myrtles, and therefore they would look like shtus, as fools being mesameh, the chosen and kalo. Meshichlo, in a positive way, they would they would take them, their, their dignity and they would transfer their dignity and mechavin it in order to them mesameh chosim v'kala as if they were even dancing in a foolish way. Meshichlo. Here, meshichlo refers to mashikulo. Meshichlo was a, 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 a trough where they would wash their hands and feet. So it refers to mashikulo where everybody would be able to wash themselves. Mashkilto Mashkilta was a s- smaller, more beautified type of vessel to wash oneself. Mashikalsa, referring to a kala who would use that to wash herself with, or another dignified type of woman. Asisa is a mortar. Chasirta, that which is lacking, which is missing, meaning to say they would, they would carve, carve out a a piece of wood from the mortar, so then it could be used to then crush herbs or other things. Buchna, those are the pestle that you're using to crush with. That's boy ve akene. Come and I will smite, I will hit it. Levusha, clothing is a contraction of loy busha. It covers up either one's nakedness or one's rags that are underneath by wearing something covering up that is more dignified. Glima, a, a coat. Shenase be kegoylem. Since it's a coat, that's like an overcoat. 
It doesn't define the body and therefore it's like a goylem. Gulso gali asiv. Gulo over here is like a cape and it's saying when a person sits down he picks it up and he re- reveals his legs when he sits down. Gali, he reveals the asif and I will sit down. Purya, why is a bed called a Purya? Sheporin veravin ale, because it's using to that used to have children with. Bor zinko, a bor that is dried up. Bor ze noki, zinko is a contraction of ze noki, it is clean because it's dried up from its water. Sudra, sudra, that is a head covering. A scarf. Soid Hashem Lireyav. The Chachami would wear a scarf covering their head like it says in different places in Chazal as aim so the Shmaya, as a fear of heaven. Therefore they were able to then learn and be privy to the secrets of Hashem. A padno, a palace. A pischadein. This is the doorway where all will enter. Either servants or other people are coming to visit the king. Tonu Rabbonon. The Gemara brings that Bryce as follows: Shloisha Kozman Shemazkinin Mosifin Gevura. Normally, when a person gets older, he becomes weaker. Here it says there are three. As they get older, these creatures become stronger. The Eluhan, and these are the following: Dog, Fish, Venachash, and Snake, the Chazir. All three of these become stronger over the course of their aging. 